All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a little overview today of the wiring harness for the 2023 Kia Sportage Hybrid. Uh, I installed it over the summer, but I really didn't have time to uh, do a how-to video while I was doing it. Had to leave the next day for a trip, so didn't really have time to mess with it. But in any case, I'm gonna give you an overview. I can't exactly show you how to do it while I'm doing it, because it's already done, but we're gonna go through the steps and some tips so you can install it successfully on your own car. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you're gonna need to do is locate this little panel after opening your rear hatch. You're gonna use a flat-sided screwdriver in order to pop this off. And once you've got that off, there's gonna be five Phillips head screws that you're gonna need to get off. You can see mine are a little bit rusted for some reason. That's no good. But in any case, we're just gonna take these off with a screwdriver, so let's do that. All right, now that we have access to this area, we are going to pull out the entire light assembly here. You can see that the wiring is back behind it. We do need to access that because that's where we're gonna do our work for the wiring harness. So we will just gently pull this out. Comes out pretty easy. All right, so now we do have this out and you can see the work I've done, but we do want to undo this clip right here so that we can disconnect the entire light from the assembly, let it rest in the back of our car while we work with the wires. So what you're gonna need to do if you obviously haven't installed it already like I have, you're gonna need to pull back this electrical tape here and this is gonna expose different wires. And these different colors all have different functions. So uh, the really the best way, instead of just copying me because maybe your car is different for some reason, I don't know why it would be, uh, but I had to use a multimeter or something to pick up that voltage was being sent to one of these wires for a given function. So essentially what I did was uh, I did this by myself and somehow managed to get like an eight foot pole and press down the brake pedal and the driver's side while uh, touching this with that voltage meter. And when I saw that there was voltage in, let's say, this pink one here, when I pressed the brake, then I knew that was for the braking function. And for each wiring harness, uh, it's going to say in the wiring diagram uh, the function of each of these colors. So I can show you uh, what I have here, but I can't guarantee that it's correct for your model of the Sportage. Although it should be, but no guarantees. I did use three splice connectors to complete this setup. So it looks like we have pink going to brown, solid pink. Then we have another pink wire that has a black stripe. That is going to go to red. And then we have a gray wire over here and that's going to go to yellow and these wires come down into this cavity here and there's actually like a little receiver there that takes voltage from the battery sends it up this way and uh, down to the other side the passenger side brake light so if we look from the underside of the car if you guys can see that's the receiver i was talking about and this is actually connected to a white ground wire here that you want to go ahead and you know, connect to the frame somewhere. It's got a black wire coming off of it. And we're gonna run this up to the front of the car and that's gonna go up on one of the terminals by the battery. Well, it's not a battery, but I don't know what to call it. Connection hub, let's say. And we have these wires here, which are obviously um, relating to different functions. And these are gonna come over to the plug for the trailer wiring. And then lastly, we do have another wire, this one here. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, but I'm under this. Uh, this is going to need uh, kind of like a splice connector and you're gonna need extra cable because it's just not gonna reach the passenger side if you're using the same wiring harness that I used. So this cable here is actually run up over this plastic piece all the way over to the passenger side. And that's going to go into um, the light over there. On the passenger side, rear tail light assembly and you can see that we are going to be using one splice connector the cable that you're going to be using is the green cable that comes across again you will need to buy some extra length in order to get it over here um, and this is going to be spliced to the blue over on again the passenger side no other splicing you need to do there you can see that you do have to pull back this electric tape but other than that it's pretty simple on this side so as you can see here i do have a connector on this wire that goes all the way to the front of the car um, 
I'm not sure if the kit came with that or I used my own. I can't quite remember, but in any case, you might need to extend it and use a longer wire or it's just disconnected from the start. But I will show you guys where I ran this. You can kind of see, and I'm sorry for the camera work here, but we're going up over this rear control arm and you can kind of see it in there. And then that's gonna go over to, uh, there's a piece of the car that has a plastic cover. All right, so that's the rear control arm and you can see that's where I essentially run the cable up this direction. And then when you're in the middle of the car, there's this thing, it's a plastic cover and there are some uh, little fasteners here. So when you remove these fasteners, you can actually take this thing off a little bit and run the cable uh, on top of this so that it is protected. And then once you get up to the front, I will show you a good place to run the wire. I hope you guys appreciate how dirty I'm getting for you here, but at the front of this plastic cover that I showed you, is a little hole that I ran the wire through and this was without a connector on it. So when I did that, I came over here and you can see there's another little a holder thing that comes down that little metal piece and then I ran the wire through that and then I'm gonna have to get a new position to show you guys what I did with it from there. All right sorry had to switch cameras but you can see the wire running right there just above the tie rod and it's going up this way and I'll show you from the other side where it's at. All right so a view from the front side of the tire you can see it comes around the strut assembly on the inside we have the sway bar link here, it's obviously behind that. And then we have a little cutout in the plastic and that's where I chose to ran the wire into. And then from there, you're gonna have to open up the hood and pull it up from the bottom. So I will show you guys that. All right, and I'm sorry for the video quality change. Uh, I had to switch from my phone to the GoPro, but here's where I have the excess wire tied off. So if you follow that down, you can kind of see down in here. There's a little area for you to pull that up through. And it's kind of hard to see. But essentially, from that hole, you'll be able to see a little bit of wire and you can pull it up through there. And once you get it through there, the kit that I use does have this little yellow wire. You're gonna open up this compartment here. So we got two little clips here on the front side and the back side. I'm gonna pop that off. And looking here, we can see that this yellow wire with the fuse is just gonna be connected right here to this terminal. So really, you're only running one cable from the back up to the front, and this is where it's gonna end up. So however you do that is fine. As long as it's protected, not in the way of any moving component, you should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this cover back on and go to the back. So the last step in the project would be to buy a little housing like this for the trailer connection. And I'll link this, I don't know the name of it. This thing is awesome though. Um, on your hitch, there'll be a little metal piece that you can mount this to with screws in the back there. Um, and then it is gonna come with some wiring on the backside, I believe if I remember correct. And then you're just gonna have to use connectors and uh, really connect the correct colors to one another. And you're pretty much done. And it's smooth sailing. You got protected connections through the winter. You can see this is salty and everything. And the inside there still has my dielectric grease, nice and clean, no gunk. So I highly recommend that you do that. Uh, it is not a bad install, but you do have to lengthen some wires. You have to run some wires, but it is worth it. And that's gonna be it for today. Hope this was helpful.